People will give you more if they Babies are awesome. They tell you exactly what they want. Milk, poo poo, sleep, they just yell it out. There's no guessing game. So if you want to build successful products, I feel like you have to turn your audience into babies as well. Basically, get them to tell you what they want. In this video, I want to show you how I automate collecting all these signals, feedback, from my audience and you don't even need to like chat them up all the time. I feel like a lot of entrepreneurs, they're just playing the guessing game. I think they need this. I think they need that. In my career, I definitely made so many of those mistakes. But of course, other than what I'm telling you today, there's just so many ways to get this data. Like for example, you can set up one-on-one -on -one call and you can have a casual chat with them, the so-called user interview, but you can also build in public and try to throw out this open-ended questions and ask your audience how they think about this. But then I realized there's even a better way. People will give you more if they need something from you, or they know that once they give you this information, you will make their lives better. These two things are so important if you want to learn about your audience. All right, let me show you exactly how this works. Now we're on the publiclab.co website and you can see here is a opt-in form. Let's say someone type in their email address and they click, I'm in. All right, what's gonna happen? Please wait, not done yet. And I quickly bring them to this form and it says, hold on, not done yet. So in the subscriber's mind, they're thinking, oh, this is not done. And Kavan is telling me that he's not going to send me some random emails. So these are some questions that he can learn more about me. Oh, okay. I'm not done yet. So let me put it in. So they will go like, I'm a writer. Cool. I want to monetize. Cool. I want to learn from self-paced videos and I want to grow on LinkedIn. All set. Once they're done, they're landing on this handshake page that I have. And basically, I just want to say hi through a really quick two minute video. And I also say, hey, I want to give you a welcome gift, $7, and then you can redeem your course here. Okay, this is not the main point. Okay, come on, stay on track. The main point here is they want to be my subscriber. They want my information. So all they need to do is to complete the process. And this is part of the process. I know there are a lot of people who just collect the email first, and then maybe in the first email or the second email, they would say, hey, by the way, I have a form here. Here, please fill it in. The thing is, once people are in already, they don't have incentive to give you that information. They know that this is just extra stuff and they don't get anything if they filled it in. And so what do they do? No, they don't do anything. They don't fill in the form. Why don't we do some simple math here? So let's say you have 100 people subscribing to your email list. 60% might open those first emails. And then maybe 20% of those 60% might fill in the form. Now, how many people actually fill in the form? 12 people, 12 out of 100. But based on my workflow, because I make it seem like it's part of the process, 60% people actually fill in the form. 60%, that's a lot. <laughs> and now you might be wondering, oh, Kavan, what about the 40%? Yeah. That's where it gets interesting. The way it works is that once they put in the email, I already locked down all the email address. So even though the 40% would never fill in the form, maybe drop off to go to a party, I already have their email addresses. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, but don't get me wrong. The whole point about collecting this data is to understand more about your audience. It's not so that you can hard sell them. I don't do that. I just want to know like what is most relevant to you so that I can send you the best information instead of just like sending everything to you. Okay, now I'm going to tell you the second way, but can you click the like button first? I think you like the video, right? All right, so here's the second way, let's go. All right, here we're looking at a free event that I'm running almost every quarter. It's called the Build in Public Bootcamp. So this involves running an event, something that is high value that can give out some of your philosophy framework. And the neat thing about this is absolutely free. So it's a great way for me to connect with my community. Once they click register, they don't just put down their name and email, which a lot of people do it. Look at this. What is your one burning questions you have about building in public? <gasps> this is such a great question, right? Because I can understand what everyone is thinking. Think about it. If they want to join my free event to get all this value, they have to first give me what they're thinking in their head. I usually reserve these Q&A time so that I can answer these burning questions. So people really wouldn't lie about it. They would just be honest. But also think about it. I run this four times a year. And on average, I get maybe 200 people registering. That's 800 data points in a year. How many conversations do you need to do 
to get all these data. That sounds pretty good to me. But I have to warn you, like a lot of people, once they learn this, they would go crazy greedy and they would type out a lot of things to ask their audience. That's not going to work. You can see from my two examples, they each take maybe less than 15 seconds to fill in. That's why people do it. You don't want to make it like a survey. Everyone hates survey. And this is how successful entrepreneurs build their businesses. Okay, so if you like this kind of tactical videos, maybe you can subscribe to my channel so that I can share more with you. And I'll be asking you some questions after you click the subscribe button. Oh no, I'm just kidding. That's not even possible. All right, I'll see you in another one. Bye-bye.